Hello students. Today we're going to continue talking about solving equations, but we're going to add a little twist to it. This time we're going to be solving equations with variables on both sides of the equal sign. So in the example 8 plus 2.5d equals 3.5d, we notice that we have a d on the right and a d on the left. Here's the trick that I want you to continue to uh, learn and to ingrain in your brain. Always start with the smallest variable. I'm going to say that again. Always start with the smallest variable. So let's look. 2.5d and 3.5d. Which one is the smallest one? 2.5d. So I'm going to start with that one. And I'm going to do the opposite. I'm adding 2.5d and the opposite of that is subtracting 2.5d. So I'm going to subtract 2.5d from both sides. This cancels out, so I'm left with 8 equals 3.5 minus 2.5 is 1, so 8 equals D, D equals 8, and there's my answer. For the next problem, I have 8.1n plus 9 equals 5.1n minus 3. And again, I want to start with my smallest variable, and in this case, the smallest variable would be 5.1n. So it's positive right now, then the opposite of that would be negative, so I need to subtract 5.1n from both sides. Notice I line the ends up together, and I, these cancel out, so I'm left with equals negative 3, and then 3, uh, sorry, 8.1n minus 5.1n is 3n plus 9 equals negative 3. So now I'm at a normal two-step equation. 3n plus 9 equals negative 3. So I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. 3n equals negative 12. Divide both sides by 3. So n equals negative 4. So once again, start with your smallest variable and do the opposite of that first and then finish solving your equation. For the next example, we have 5n plus 9 equals 2n. Just like we said before, start with my smallest variable. The smallest variable is 2n. It's positive right now, so I'm going to do the opposite. That would be subtract 2n from both sides. So over here I have 3n plus 9 equals, well, what's 2n minus 2n? That's 0. Can I do that? Absolutely. So 3n plus 9 equals 0. 2n minus 2n is 0. That's okay. Don't freak out about that. Now I have 3n plus 9 equals 0, and I'm going to solve the equation like I normally would. The first thing I'm going to do is subtract 9 from both sides. So 3n equals negative 9. And then I divide both sides by 3. So n equals negative 3. And that's kind of under the screen, but n equals negative 3. Let's plug that in. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Negative 15 plus 9 is negative 6. Well, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, so negative 6 equals negative 6. The answer is correct. Always verify just to make sure. For your practice problems tonight, I'd like you to do problem A, 7a minus 5 equals 2a minus 15, and B, 18.4y minus 3.1 equals 16.4y plus 16.9. Do both of these problems, take a picture, and then turn them in through Edmodo so I can make sure that you understand what you're doing.